Hey guys, welcome back to the Capital Presence YouTube channel. My name is Sydney and today I'm going to be bringing you an updated video on Microsoft Yammer which is changing into Viva Engage, so stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I wanted to show you a quick use case on Microsoft Yammer and how we've been using it within our organization recently. So first of all, what is Microsoft Yammer? Now Microsoft Yammer or Viva Engage is what we are, Microsoft has started calling it, is a essentially a social network um, within Microsoft 365. You can think of it as a Facebook essentially that allows your organization to communicate um, kind of outside of that Microsoft Teams environment. You might want to keep it, you know, clean or the chat specific only to that particular team or channel and don't necessarily want to clutter it with kind of like water cooler talk essentially or stuff that our team would call like parking lot conversations or you don't want to sit in a meeting, you know, go over time talking about just random things. Um, so this is essentially your community for just chit-chatting and talking about things and socializing. So I wanted to kind of show you how we used it recently for our meetup. Again, we are an entirely remote organization, so this was actually the first time we were meeting a lot of our team members, and everybody came um, to Washington, D.C. So you can see here that we created our own Microsoft Yammer or Viva Engage for that particular group. You can see everybody's in here. And recently we kind of used this to drop all of our pictures in and share that within the organization um, so that we don't necessarily have to put it within like a Microsoft Teams chat. Um, they just kind of live in here within Yammer. So you can see a ton of pictures and videos. Our group kind of got split up within the day so everybody was dropping their own pictures in here and just making it super easy to share those with everybody and that way you don't have to share them on Microsoft Teams. Um, or anything like that. They were putting in here, we had a house that we stayed in, so, hey, I'm gonna be late this morning. And just kind of internal communication that you wouldn't want to take place within Microsoft Teams. Now, once you're in each particular group as well, you can, again, it's a lot like Facebook, you can share your thoughts here. So, hey everyone, doing a video about Yammer. So hey everyone, doing a video about Yammer, and I can post that on the uh, group feed here, add a GIF or a picture or anything that I want to. And you can add questions to each group, you can do praise, you can praise team members, you can do polls. Um, say we wanted to pick where to go to eat, I could put that in a poll and people within this meetup group can vote on that. So again, it's just a great interactive way to be involved in your community within your organization there's a files here so any pictures that we uploaded would all go there as well and then again within each group you can also have an events tab so it shows any events that are coming up so say we wanted to go to a hockey game when everybody was here or we went to a, an escape room we could have put that here as well but yeah, so that is the most recent way we used it. Um, we also have a book club for a while that we are all reading a book. We use that to kind of communicate within our organization. Hey, what chapter is everybody on? Here's a picture of me reading the book at the pool. What was, you know, a standout quote or something like that. We also have a health and wellness one. We did like little beginning of the year challenges. We have an app that um, our company will reimburse for us to share fun little um, gifts in here. So it's just a way to engage outside of Microsoft Teams and socialize essentially. We have an entire company one here. We haven't used that in a while. Um, we have used it. It was just my anniversary at work. Again, I love a good GIF. GIF. We have one for the T Kentucky Derby. I know they're going again this year, so they might create one for 2023. Um, and then within that, there's specific chats as well. So where we're local to Washington, D.C., they were talking all about 
the Washington Nationals in there. We have a Capitals one as well for hockey. This would be a great one. I can update. We have company tickets, um, um, so I can put some of my pictures in there. Um, so just a bunch of different communities and chats that you can be a part of. You can see your home feeds. That would include, you know, your chats for every single different community. You can follow specific people and see their most recent posts. Um, so it's just a great way to keep up with everybody inside of your organization if you kind of want to take it outside of Microsoft Teams or a chat space in kind of like a whole company-wide water cooler situation, which is great for us since we are fully remote and we don't see each other on a daily basis. You know, we love to chat with each other and we could spend hours if we wanted to outside of our uh, meetings talking and sharing things so this is just a great way to use that in place of like a slack or something like that or a group wide text message um, you can kind of put everything here and separate it how you want you can be part of the communities that you want um, in particular so if i didn't like baseball but i do like hockey i can be a part of that group so that is just a quick use case, guys, on how we use Microsoft Yammer um, or now Viva Engage within our organization for our recent meetup and for how you can use it um, to socialize within your organization. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next week. Hey there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for all the latest videos from Capital Presence.